Democracy is under attack in Europe and Eurasia. Freedom House says 12 of the 29 countries it assessed in its new report received downgrades in their level of democracy, especially in parts of Europe and Eurasia. And the group lays much of the blame on Russia. Silvana habdank Kolatskoska is project director of the report titled Nations in Transit. The big story for, 2000, uh, for the 2015 edition is not surprisingly uh, Russia's escalation of and new forms of aggression internationally and domestically. The report uses various factors like the electoral process and independent media in making its determination. It says Russia's ongoing conflict with Ukraine threatens both. Russia is a driver of the decline in Eurasia, um, particularly in areas related to civil society, and that has really um, accelerated in the last few years. But that measure of civil society, the people's ability to gather under a common banner, is something that helps bolster Ukraine's standing in the report, even if only to the level that existed before the regime of ousted former President Viktor Yanukovych. Civil society was always and remains extremely vibrant in Ukraine. The fact that that was the one rating that didn't really decline under Yanukovych is something that I think other authoritarian leaders have noticed because they right. realize that you can do everything else, you know, right, but if you don't crack down, people will still uh, agitate for what they deserve. Which she says points back to Russia's involvement in not only the decline of other nations' rankings, but in its own as well. It needs a change in the character mm -hmm. of the leadership. It needs a regime that is no longer uh, aggressively against all forms of democratization. Tensions remain high throughout many of the regions in the report. Recent overnight explosions at two Russian banks in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, are just the latest attacks in the conflict between Ukraine's military and pro-Russian separatists. Vladimir Putin recently called for both sides to work together to resolve their differences. But the Freedom House report slams Moscow as the lead agitator in a crisis that has pushed Ukraine to the brink of war. Arash Arbasadi for VOA News, Washington.